Let's talk about long tail items. Long tail means it's gonna take a long time to sell because maybe it's an antique or a collectible or something. The sell through rate is not as high, but you know what? I don't mind that. I picked this up at Salvation Army about a year ago. Um, I paid $12, I believe, but this is liquid metal, a little vintage purse, and it has a little mini um, perfume. It says made in West Germany. It comes with the case. I did a little research and looked that up. So I wanna talk a little bit about listing photos. So that's my cover shot. I put a little bit of fake hydrange on the back, right? I did a collage one with the back, the case, the bottom of the perfume bottle. You know me and my measurements, I do it on everything because most liquid metal purses are bigger. This is like a mini. And that way they know that this is a mini size perfume bottle. Cause you know people don't read descriptions. They might be like, why is this a miniature sample size perfume? I want to return that. So, uh, nope, no excuses. I even went so far as to Google the name of the company and put the history of it and some screenshots. As you can see, it sold for 32 buyer paid shipping. Because who doesn't like to know a little history of their vintage item they're purchasing, right? So my point is, take good photos, be descriptive, add measurements. If it's something vintage or collectible, do a little research and add that information in there. And don't be afraid to sit on some items if they're collectibles because they're a special buyers required. And it didn't take up a lot of space.